Okay, this is the twirl. We have three chips. Uh, I'm using two red and a blue here for contrast. And these are held in the dominant hand. Uh, the edges are just not quite on the phalange of your index finger. Index finger is at about 1 o'clock, middle finger 4 o'clock, and the ring finger is at about 8 o'clock. The little finger for the moment is clear. The thumb reaches forward and gently lifts up the innermost chip, just by about a millimeter, just so it's clear. Then, because there's now a slight staircase, like bevel on the chips, if the, the thumb comes in at a slight angle, not square to the chips, but a slight angle, it can touch the two blue chips without touching the, the red chip. You're actually contacting the outer edge of the forward chip and the exposed edge of the back chip. And from here, just rotating the thumb causes the red chip to pop out in the middle. And the red chip is now held between the index finger, the middle, fing uh, middle finger, ring finger, and now the little finger has come in as well to support that chip at the bottom. The middle finger, that's this one here, now reaches forward and pivots the chip. Now because you've got two points of contact at the bottom here, it's surprisingly easy. Now all it's a case of doing is feeding the red chip in between the two blue chips and closing everything up. And that is the 12.